It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hogsback Brewery and this is right up my street. I'm actually reviewing this beer two hours before the first practice of the new Formula One season in Dubai. Um, the Grand Prix this weekend is currently a Thursday. The qualifying is Friday. The race is Saturday. So we've got practice on a Thursday morning, about 11 o'clock UK time. <coughs> <clears throat> and I thought to kick off the Formula One season, I'd review this beer. This is Brooklyn's a Gold Star, legendary English ale, 4.4% ABV. And if you're a racing fan, you will know all about Brooklyn's. It's a famous corner. It's in, I'm pretty sure it's Silverstone. Oh, it's a Brooklyn's Museum. Brooklyn's is definitely a corner in Silverstone. I've heard it many times watching the, the, the Grand Prix on television in the UK. But this kind of harks back to the old style racing, metal steering wheels, helmets, goggles, out in the elements, make a mistake and you're driving around really in a bathtub and you're full of petrol, full of gasoline. They didn't have much chance if they crashed back in the day. They were very, very brave people back in the day. Um, so yeah, this kind of harks back to, to old school racing, very early, maybe Formula One. We'll have a read about it now in a moment, but yeah, Hogsback Brewing, Brewery. They make a great beer and tea. Very, very good beer called tea. Not actual cup of tea, but they make a, a, a beer called tea. Yeah, great brewery. Um, here is the bottle cap, orange cap with a white hog on it. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the bottle opening, not too much, mind. Beer in the glass. We got a one finger white head on this beer. Good levels of carbonation. Little bit of haze going on. So it's an unfiltered beer. Little bit of haze. We'll read all about the label on the back in a moment, but I want to get into the beer first and foremost. Channel sponsor though, the beer was kindly sent to us by bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. If you like finding beer from small breweries around the UK that you may never have heard of, they arrive at your door once a month because it's a subscription service, then check out bestofbritishbeer.co.uk, link in the description box of the video. It's just kind of every month I'm partnered with them, so of course they send me a box of beer and I talk about their, their, their company a little bit, advertise their company a little bit, but every month I really like the fact that beers come through the door from Best of British Beer. And I don't know what's in the box. From Isle of Sky Brewery to Woodford's here to, to, to Hogs Back. Lots of small to medium sized breweries sent every month. And it's, it's, it's like opening a Christmas present every month of fantastic beers from fantastic British breweries. So let's get the aroma on this beer then. Really solid ale. Something you could just sup away at all afternoon. Malty, biscuity. A little bit of lemon zest. Spicy, peppery, a little bit of kind of like barley sweetness coming through. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. I 
I just actually finished reviewing a beer from Isle of Skye Brewery and it was their gold and that was slightly different to this this that was kind of more little bit of malt and then this whacking great bitterness on the back end so I'm having I'm going to have a couple of tastes of this beer just to kind of wrap my palate around it just to get my palate kind of reset and and used to what I'm drinking because once you drink something really bitter it's quite kind of like dominates you you, you lose other flavors when you're trying to taste a beer but what I've immediately found with this beer there's a lovely level of malt sweetness to it A little bit of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. A little bit of sweetness from the malt. But it's very, it's very, very malt driven. It's like layers of flavour from the malt. You're getting some kind of like crusty bread in there. You're getting some little bit of kind of waffle. A little bit of kind of like maybe American waffle. A bit like me waffling on here. <coughs> maybe some crumpets, maybe some wafer, like light wafer flavours, levels, layers of malt flavour coming through on the beer. So they've used probably a few different types of malt to brew this beer. Could drink ability for that four point four point four percent ABV. Good amount of drinkability. Definitely session this beer all afternoon long. Probably more sweet than bitter. There, 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 there is a bitterness coming through on the back end. It is slight kind of stinging nettle flavours coming through, spicy pepperiness, a little bit of lemon touch of grapefruit but I'd say it's slightly more balanced this one to be in a little bit more sweet but that that's fine we're not talking about like supermarket craft beer raspberry puree sweetness we're not talking about that we're talking about kind of natural malt sweetness in the beer which is good I like it I like it a little bit of sweetness a little bit of bitterness leaning a little bit towards being Sweeter than it is bitter, but a decent, decent pint of beer. I could absolutely drink a few pints of this. So, Brooklyn's, what's the story here then? Legendary English Ale. The Gold Star was awarded to elite drivers and riders at the world's first purpose-built motor racing circuit, Brooklyn's. Okay. Okay, now, I, now, now it's, it's quite interesting because... Brooklyn's has a corner at Silverstone. Uh, this beer celebrates the history that lives on at Brooklyn's Museum. I may, I may have to go there and have a look. A generous golden ale with a hint of citrus full of body and character, epitomising the gold star spirit, will complement spicy dishes as much as great British food classics. Based in Tongham, Hogsback Brewery. Yeah, lovely. Just a very traditional lovely brilliant kind of type of beer like i've 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 left not completely and i don't want to bang on about it too much but I, i'm kind of gonna try my very best to move away from like the supermarket craft beers because i just don't think i just don't think they're there at the moment in terms of quality i think the quality's gone down in these can craft beers in the supermarket and this is much more my thing these days much more my thing proper proper traditional english british ale we're the best in the world at brewing this type of beer and it's the reason why lots of people drink it i like that eight out of ten eight out of ten from reload craft beer Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.